Hello everyone, Bonnie here. Growing up in Scotland, it was always my dream to move to Australia, cuddle a koala and have a swimming pool, which was a nice drink in Aberdeen. Now that we are here, we're making that dream a reality, but it has taken a few years. With summer just round the corner, it's time to get our pool ready for the season. So let's dive in. Lewis is now the pool boy, and he's going to show you how easy it is. So the first thing we're going to do is to take a sample of the water to our local pool shop. They test the water for chlorine and any alkalines or anything else that we need in there. So that's our little sample. So the first thing we're going to do is clean this filter. So this is a filter and pull it out and inside sometimes, oh, there's a spider. We rescue all our little spiders and things. There you go, come on spider. We'll rescue him, we just, that's called a sock. And we put that in the bucket. And then we're gonna put on a new sock. And then we put a stone inside the sock. And that weighs it down. And then that just goes back in. So before we put in the actual pool machine, we're gonna give it a helping hand and take out some of the debris. So Lewis is just skimming around the edge, picking up any debris. So the next thing Lewis is gonna do is to skim up all these leaves that are lying on the bottom of the pool before we put in our actual robot. After a windy storm, we find that sometimes we have to do the filter and the pool the next day. Spiders can stay under the water for a long time and we have a spider here called the funnel web and it's deadly and they're black and they can actually sit at the bottom of pools. So before we go in we have to check to see that there's no spiders sitting at the bottom but they're quite easy to spot. We just do a spider check before we go in. This is the control box robot and this is Mr. Robot himself and he's got a filter as well so that just goes in so easy okay so what we're going to do is center the the robot so it can go half and half we'll pass the wire halfway through the pool and then we'll run that under the table Lewis will connect to the box in he goes never put the mains on until we're all set up and then all we have to do is press the button and voila! You see it going down the steps. <laughs> This is Big Davy, and you can see he's flashing. So this is why we're taking a sample of our water to the, the pool company. If it's flashing, it usually means salt. Put it in the machine. Okay, so what's this telling us? Salt, 27 kilos, gosh, kilo. that's a, a lot. A bag. One bag. Okay, One bag cool. 10 kilo. Do you throw calcium in your pool very often? No. 380 grams. What's that? That's your buffer or alkalinity increaser, which is this one here. Right. So that gets your alkalinity up, which makes the water, doesn't make your eyes sting as much. It's better. This one will bring up the alkalinity and the pH. Okay, cool. So it's chlorine's fine. Oh, good. 2.5, spot on. With the red light, just throw the bag of salt in. And make sure see if that red light goes out. <laughs> yeah. So we're now going to backwash Big Davy. Everything has to be turned off. And it goes to backwash. 
manual on here we are so this is what we're looking at so this is to run for two minutes clearer manual off right so now we turn Davy to rinse rinse manual on again 30 seconds for rinse oh wow that looks heaps better and that's it's finished and we'll just set it back to automatic Lewis has got to set it to water filter yeah, so now we're going to put this to auto auto there we are and that's him starting okay Mr Robot's coming out so we'll leave him to to drain we're going to add our 20 kilos of salt that was $30 which is 15 pounds for everything getting the water tested salt so it's not expensive people go oh it's too expensive to have a pool but well, we haven't found it expensive we haven't found it time consuming and the enjoyment you get from it is just amazing I think one time I was in the pool for about three hours I was turning so wrinkly we've actually never had the pool heater on last year because as you see it's getting lots of sun and the pool got to a temperature of 29 degrees and we never even had the heater on those solar panels are running Davy. okay so we've just taken robot out the pool and that's what he's gathered up so these filters are easy enough to take out and wash oh there's another spider there's another spider look there we are hey everything's working no flashing lights put the salt in we have nothing flashing at us to say warning warning as i say we just do this once a quarter and we watch the machine there to tell us if anything's going wrong and the only thing we have to do regularly is just empty our sock so we do the sock and then we'll top up for water check this open the top up to see if anything's warning signals and basically it, it's left to its own devices the pool forms the centerpiece of our outside area and it's just so nice to look at all year round even if it is too cold to get in we also enjoy looking at it at night whilst we are eating or having a drink outside we can change the colors with a remote control which can change the ambience our favorite is the dark blue but it can cycle through all the colors so let's see what temperature the water is. It is currently late spring here in Australia and the water is already 27 degrees. Time to jump in. We so love making these videos for you and we hope you enjoy them too. If you do, we'd appreciate if you liked and subscribed to our channel so you can be notified of our next videos. Thank you for watching. Lewis and Bonnie's Australia.